there are two sides of every coin, but in this case, one side is more frequent, that being the people criticizing Donald Trump. On the other side, there are some that support him, one of them being Scott Baio who came to the president's support. The 56-year-old said, my country comes first. I guess I'm just an old, angry, successful white guy who stole everything he has from someone else. I don't give a damn about Hollywood liberals. They're gonna hate the guy no matter what, he continued, if he cured cancer, they'd be on him for putting oncologists out of business. He then continued his support of Donald Trump saying, all this does is help Trump because people have had it. Conservatives in Hollywood have had it, we know who Trump is, and we don't believe the propaganda, and I don't think most of the country does, either. The media is almost irrelevant. It's predictable and boring. I want the man to get his agenda through, and everything else is a sideshow. According to LifeZ, James Woods tweeted the only reason I express my views is that I have accepted the fact that I'm blacklisted. Also, I bought Apple stock in the ADS, Woods tweeted this week to a fan who had asked if there were Republican actors who kept their politics silent for fear of professional backlash. Nick Searcy said, Trump didn't say some nice people were Nazis, he said there are some nice people who don't want monuments torn down, this movement to erase the history of the Democrats' support for the Confederacy and the KKK is ridiculous.